Okay, so here we are back. Uh, now let's go into the top view and let's try to shape that lattice so that um, uh, right click lattice point and then so that the whole thing is getting into the shape of that background image. I'll select all of those lattice points here, bring those in, deselect the top one, and so on and so forth. I want to bring this in a tiny bit more. I'll select uh, those four, those three, the last two, and finally the last one. So now let's uh, tweak that. Yeah, this has to come in a bit more, and this as well. Might want to move this out. Let's check it uh, out from the perspective view here. Let's uh, select the object and hit uh, 3 to go to shaded mode. take those vertices and move those out just a little bit okay so now um Let's uh, select the object and let's um, let's delete the history. Okay. So now we have to insert a few edge loops here. Insert edge loop tool and um, add in one here and one next to it with a little distance here. And then we want to add in. Let's add in down here, one down here. One there. One here. And let's select that edge here or one of those edges and then control right click, edge ring utilities and split and uh, let's uh, set that from uh, relative to multi. Now let's hit uh, 3 on the keyboard, select that object, hit 3, deselect that object and let me turn a wireframe which hate it to see what's going on. That is looking... it's looking good. There's one thing we um, have to take care about. If you take a closer look even on that background image here, so this is kinda yeah, round it off from from this point here going somewhere about here. So that means um, you have to yeah p push in some verts here. So let's uh, try to do this manually. And if that doesn't work, we again we take a lattice. Let's select some more faces here. All of those and then hit control F9 and then create a lattice and then go in say U divisions of something like 6 should work <coughs> and now let's right click lattice point and let's uh, only select it doesn't matter so we only selected the top vertices so let's go to the top view <coughs> and um, move that in This one there, this one here. Okay, this one. 
just a tiny bit. Okay, so I think that should work. Mm. Let's select the object. Let's uh, delete the history to get rid of that Ben deformer, uh, lattice deformer. And now let's select uh, this vertex here and let's move that in manually just a tiny bit. Okay, so with that done, let's check that out how that looks when we smooth that guy. So select the object, hit a three. And that's looking, it's looking all right to me. What we also could do is um, take in uh, those vertices here and move them on the normal. So to do that, uh, double click on the move tool here um, and set this from object to normal. Let's let's just try that out. Mm. Let's move that guy in U, N and V. So to smooth that out a little bit more. Okay, go back to object. Move this guy in. So now let's check that out, how that looks. Um, let me close that um, settings window there. Let's try that out. Hit 3 on the keyboard. Let me turn off that grid for a second. Okay. All right, some some minor tweaks here. Um, again, select a few words. Bring that down. Hit three. Okay, so let's insert some edge loops in here. So select that edge, control right click, edge ring utilities and split. And again, change this from relative to multi. So now I'll hit uh, 3 on the keyboard. Yeah, I think that's that's all right for now. Yeah, we still have a little issue here on on this part. That's that's a sh that's a fact, but yeah. Let's just uh, leave it like it is for now. So let me uh, pause the video again and then we um, will copy that guy over to the other side and then we take care about um, the parts where those knobs are. Um, okay, so see you in the next video.